The Virtual Controls Development Fund, PTDF, has announced a transparent, stress-free selection process for its 2024 scholarship scheme, aiming to reduce foreign dominance in renewable energy, oil and gas sectors. The program, led by team lead Tajdin Ibiye, has introduced uh, innovations uh, to mark the process seamless and rewarding in Dr. Nuru uh, Makashi urged uh, beneficiaries to prioritize patriotism and return to Nigeria to apply their knowledge. There is um, to have more capacity building in Nigeria, to have more capacity to solve indigenous problems. So what PTD of those was to basically uh, sponsors, uh, sponsors individual, individual to um, uh, become specialists in different oil and gas related um, courses, both in the industrial as, uh, part and the uh, academic uh, area. Yes, what we, part, of, part of what we, in fact the major thing we put in place is we bond our, our scholars before they, before they travel out and uh, when they travel out, even if they, if, uh, even if they get, we they finish their program and they intend to stay there, maybe they've got, they get any opportunity, uh, we'll look at our database and they, they have to get back to us to inform us that they intend to stay back, maybe due to one, um, one reason or the other. Now, Ido Laughter at Didakbo and also Abdurrahman Nasseri, the shortlisted candidates express satisfaction with the scholarship process and has expressed their goals for the scholarship opportunities. The aim will be to help, um, as some of my colleagues here, some of the students here, for, to help, um, what's it called, stop um, air pollution, water pollution, soil contamination, habitat degradation. Thank you. Exactly. I will come back to Nigeria and uh, maybe if opportune, I will join lecturing to impact my young generations that are coming up. And also, oil and gas industry are there waiting for any opportunity that maybe through your research they can make knowledge or any application of your research to develop themselves.